Right, so what we're going to look at now is um, how we start a downswing and the, the sequence that's required to um, move our body in a position so we can get the club working on a better path and plane. Now, it is quite subjective like all of these videos because each individual will have um, different capabilities of movement or um, skill levels and all, all sorts of things that go into this. So obviously some of this is going to be a bit subjective. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to look at a specific movement and an explanation into it um, and some of the ways that you can um, try and encourage that movement for yourself into the, the downswing. Okay, right, so, um, I say what we're looking at is this sensation, how we start our downswing movement. So the, the best way to illustrate this is with, um, I've got drill sticks here. Um, now, in this exercise here, you can use um, garden canes if you've got them. Um, but what I've done is I've just threaded it through the belt, belt loops of my um, my jeans here. Um, I'm going to use a longer stick to help illustrate the next part. So I'm going to set up, I've got that tilt in our spine like we've talked about. I'd rotate to the top. Now, what we have from this position here is we have a movement interval which is called which um, is called X factor, and it's a separation. That separation of your hips and your upper body and the more you can separate that the more power or speed that you might be able to create for using your body now how do we create that feeling so what we're going to feel is go, go to the top of your swing and what we want to feel is that our left hip would shift forward again for a right-handed golfer and then that hip starts to open up okay now if, I, if we look at it from a down the line view, see how my, I'm trying to feel like I, I separate my hip. Now, this is where the exercises that we've looked at in this email comes into it. So you want to get that sensation that hips moving forward and separating. Now, a common thought that we saw see here is from an over the top player is shoulders working first and you see my lower body's not moving. So it's a that real feel, feeling of that separation here. Now, hitting a ball with this, what we would do is we'd go to the top of our swing and say so you're going to feel your feel like you can get your hips moving first and that club stays behind you. So we would feel like we move the hip and get the club moving through. So. Another another drill that we can do, or practice feeling that we can do, is if I was to turn and I was to put my hands on the wall, and then I would just feel like I can try and open up my hips and keep my chest facing the wall as much as I can. Again, we're trying to get that separation. Now, what you've um, what you've got to understand is that to get that feeling of the club moving down on a, a better path, pretty much every good player you'll see will laterally move their hip and that shallow helps shallow with the club what we don't want to see is someone hanging back and their short arms coming over it um, so just another practice drill to give you that feeling i'd set up see how i've got the chair let's say about fists away from my thigh so i turn to the top and i'd push that hip I feel like my shoulders stay back so i'd push that hip and then I'd feel like I could start turning. And again, you could you could hit a ball in this situation, not a full shot, but push and then turn through. Okay, so as I say, it depends on the person's physical capabilities, but they're, they're a couple of good things to give you the feeling of how your lower body wants to ignite the downswing. Um, and get get the movement going into the ball in the correct way and that will help with getting the path in the correct place the plane in the correct place um, and ultimately the delivery of the club into impact in the right way